what do you do? What do I do? What do I do? Well, here I am hitchhiking in the middle of nowhere on a weekday afternoon. Do you really think I have somewhere to be right now? Hey, I didn't want to stereotype you. No, you did. You just didn't say it. Look, the least I ask for is a little... Honey, don't. No, let me finish. The least I ask for is just a little respect, all right? After all, we were nice enough to pick you up. I mean, if it weren't for me, you'd still be stranded on the side of the road. Yeah, right. What? I don't believe that for a second. I know your type. Yeah, that's right. You want to talk about stereotypes? Well, how does this sound? Uptight, self-centered, arrogant yuppie. Yeah, the truth hurts, doesn't it? Well, the truth is, you wouldn't have stopped for nothing or nobody. But she made you feel guilty. And that's the only reason you stopped. That, and to keep her from griping about it for the rest of the trip if you didn't stop. So don't try to sound like some hero with a sense of obligation to me. You don't know the first thing about me. I think I'm pretty close. What did you say you do? You didn't ask. Well, I'm asking now. Yeah, if you must know, I'm the pastor of one of the largest churches in the state. Really? The pastor, huh? You couldn't just leave it at that. No, you had to add, for one of the largest churches in the state. Said with just the right amount of pride. And what about you? I'm the church secretary. Church secretary? Pastor. Wow, I've hit the jackpot. So, what, you're both Christians? Yes. Yes. And what does that make you, like... Bible-banging, scripture-quoting Jesus freaks? No, that's not what it's all about. I know y'all have got that holier-than-thou attitude. Well, so much for not stereotyping. Look, I speak my mind, okay? I know from the minute you guys saw me, you had me stereotyped. You just didn't say it. Well, the difference is, I'll actually say it. I will tell you exactly what I think of you and what I think of all Christians. You're all a bunch of hypocrites. Now, wait just a minute. No, no, honey. Let him finish. You're obsessed with something you cannot see and cannot prove. You spend every possible moment in church, but if you were put on the spot, you wouldn't even know what you believed in. If you surrendered to this Jesus, then how come he's not at the top of your priority list? Christianity? Try hypocrisy. Here's what I suggest. We drive quietly, and peacefully. We'll take you as far as you want to go, provided the trip is silent. Whenever we get close to where you think you want to be, let us know, we'll let you off, and we'll be on our way. Or you can ride the entire time to where we're headed, and then we'll let you out. Deal? No deal. What? No deal. Then what do you suggest? Stop the car. Actually, I'm at Stop it. the car! I'm not going to stop the car right here. Yes, you are. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? I suggest you do exactly what I tell you, unless you want to see someone close to you die. Oh, my God! Oh, I see. Now that your life is at stake, you can call for your God. Well, how convenient. Newsflash, lady. Your God is the reason I'm doing this. Because I don't believe in your God. And I have never found a Christian who truly believes in their faith. I... I believe. Do you? I believe. Do you? Then do you want to die? Do you want to die for what you believe in? Come on, this is your chance to make a statement to the world. A statement that will cost you everything. Do you love this Jesus more than you love your own life? Do you understand that I will kill you based on your response to this question? Do you love Jesus more than your own life? I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Stop the car. Stop the car. Pull the car over right now. Get out. Your God is the reason I'm doing this, because I don't believe in your God, and I have never found a Christian who truly believes in their faith. Turn around and get on your knees right now. Shut up! You stay there! 
Be quiet and do not move! You ready to find out what you're made of? Please. Now I'm going to ask you a very simple question with a very simple answer. Think carefully before responding. You claim to be a Christian. Let's see how important Christ is to you. He took nails on the cross for you. He died for you. You will even die for him. Now I'm going to ask you this question, and you have 10 seconds to respond. Your answer will determine whether you live or die. Your entire life comes down to this moment. Are you ready to die for your faith? Say the words, I'm ready, and I'll pull the trigger. If not, then I'll let you leave, knowing that what you've devoted your entire life to apparently means nothing. <laughs> so, are you ready to die for your faith? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm not, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> louder than words. rest my case. Go, just go. If you were willing to die for him, then you'd be willing to tell someone like me about him.